If the culture is you get a million views on TikTok and YouTube when you insult Joe Biden, Joe Biden loses the election. Yep. That's the culture that needs to be built. That's why they employ these like young Gen Z influencers. Well, and the, they also you know. allow the left wing influencers on and then immediately remove the right wing influencers from what I've seen. I mean, I had a TikTok. It was like 260,000 oh, yeah. followers. It's striked. It's, gone. It's not no even. It's Tim not Cast even, banned. Yeah, it's not. But it's we not may have even, launched a new one, though. Poli- it's not just the political people like Ronnie Radke just got mm-hmm. his TikTok. Uh, he's, Ronnie Radke is the singer of a band called uh, Falling in Reverse. Um, and they're great. Mass- band. Massive, massive. He got he got banned. He just got his TikTok banned because he was make, talking about trans people. And I'm not sure exactly what he said. I didn't I don't have the, uh, the stuff in front of the me. Trans script. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry, well, I mean, I don't he was he was talking about trans people. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what he said, but and they they banned him. And like I said, this guy, I mean, the, he is fairly like controversial in the in the rock and heavy metal world in that he's he's he you know, he's a rock rock star. You know, I mean, he I think he threw a, a mic stand into the crowd one time and he gets into beef with people on Twitter and and, you know, he doesn't do what he's quote unquote supposed to do. But they, you know, they they booted him off of uh off of TikTok and and that's he's not a political guy. He just said something that was politically incorrect. It sounds yeah. a lot like the guy sitting right next to me. <laughs> I'm well, I mean, <laughs> I've said some things. A rock singer. That's Ronnie Radke's description on uh he's, falling in reverse dot com. Yes, I'm I'm Wikipedia. waiting to Google your name and, and see uh you know the right wing label slapped on your Wikipedia. Oh, oh well no, I don't know about my re- Wikipedia, but if you go to any of the, the metal blogs, most of them Yeah, I've seen I've seen those they, articles yeah, before. They don't like me and I, I don't care because they're scum. I've never had a TikTok anecdotally. I don't I don't hate people involved in the Chinese Communist Party. It's a little concerning to have a uniparty dictating central planning of a system. Um, I don't hate those people. I will never use I should maybe never never say never, but I have no interest in using that uh, manipulative trash TikTok. But you junk. look at the, you look at the massive reach though TikTok. The amount of views they bring in it blows other platforms, and anybody can go viral. That's that's the nice thing about TikTok. But the right needs to use that. That's the sad reality of it. You I need the right on TikTok. You need their ideas because that's where young kids. I mean, that's this is what they do all day. They just swipe so and swipe. It doesn't say on your Wikipedia page that you're right wing, but it does smear you pretty bad. It says that you're a fan of Taylor Swift. I, uh, you know, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the internet uh, gets something right. You know, is that love yeah, that, story? It, it just says that you're a, you're a recurring guest on this show and you're a libertarian or something. That's cool. Move to New Hampshire to join the libertarian movement. So when you said everyone's got to use the, or you got to use TikTok to get through to the people, I feel like that's like saying here, if we were in a war or something, you're like, here, use the enemy's weapons that are tracking your every move because they're better weapons. Yeah, but you're going to be tracked regardless. Look at Instagram, look at Twitter. I mean, all of these are data harvesting companies. You're tracked no matter what. You have an electronic device in your pocket at all times. You know, the TikTok isn't going to track you any better than all these other apps that are harvesting. It's not the, the apps themselves. It's, it's the, the CCP yeah, that's just the phone. I don't want the CCP to be tracking me. Yeah, I, I think, I don't I think the least the C- of your worries, though, are the CCP, right? Like your own government has been weaponized against you right now. They're right. the ones you should be worried about. Of course, but CCP is a threat. I don't know. I you mean, don't, that, I think it's want, much more threatening. The Chinese Communist Party is much more threatening to the American civilians. Than I agree. And you don't want to be on TikTok because this idea that you join TikTok for the purpose of engaging in that conflict perhaps makes sense to a certain degree, but we want to force the conversation onto the platforms where we have more control. Yeah, I can agree with that. But, but at the but, same time, TikTok, you can transfer those, you know, your audience <coughs> off of that to the necessary I agree. platforms like I X. Completely, That's I, I actually agree. really hard. That's why they ban you. Tick, yeah, well, TikTok, that was my hardest thing is, you know, I had 260,000 followers, but it was the actual return rate to your other platforms. But if you gather enough followers, you get enough engagement, you do get a little bit of return rate there. But you also want to make sure you're on, pla- on these platforms so you can push back to the extent exactly. you're able to push back. Mm-hmm. Well, and there's, then, there's upsides and downsides, of course, to it all. But I, I think in the end, you know, it would be beneficial for the right at least to have some sort of presence the, on the app. 